things are looking up for the bush bee man nowadays. Even got a chauffeur driven over here in the lad's car, so I'm sitting around all chilled out. And what's more, we've moved up the food chain. We're getting interviewed by the Adelaide dudes now. So apparently we're doing a remote, a remote conversation. So I've been informed that I'm talking to a microphone without a bloke to talk to. So I've been given the, I've been given the rundown on the way here of how to behave. So fingers crossed that somehow or other I can pull this together. It's um, th almost 13 minutes to 10. Now, we've been promising this interview since half past 10 this morning. We are about to meet a YouTube sensation, all right? Now, um, can, can we play a little bit of, 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 the, uh, of Mark Deco's um, YouTube? Now, he's a beekeeper, uh, all right? Now, he's um, uh, it's got a property up at uh, Remmark, but what he does for his, his YouTube followers is that he encourages them to look after bees and he, he gives them handy hints from his shed on how you can do this. Um, one of his um, YouTube uh, episodes has had more than half a million views, more than half a million views. So he, he's like Steve Irwin meets the bees. This is a little of Mark Deco and his YouTube sensation. We're on the way down to suck some bees off the side of a house. The poor lad down there, he's got these bees living in his air vents of an old home. So, I don't know, that should be entertaining. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll have a little less carnage this time, <laughs> which would be good. I was just thinking, does this mean that we really suck? <laughs> a joke really sucked. <laughs> it definitely makes them less angry, this concept. Because I guess the sucked up into the jolly pot and they can't do much about it, can they? Can you imagine what the hell they're thinking? <laughs> they're sitting on their wall and all of a sudden they got sucked up a bloody hose, <laughs> trapped in a vacuum. That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? That's Mark Deco, Riverland farmer turned YouTube star. Hello, Mark. Hey, David. How you going, champ? I, I am exceptionally well. Mark, where did you get this this idea to have your own YouTube sensation? You, you sat down one morning, obviously, with John, your son. We'll talk to John in a moment. You said, I think I could be a star, and this is what we're going to do. And he laughed, by the way. So he said, I don't know about that. But I said, the bees really do need a voice, and why can't it be me? So here we are, 156 and episodes down the road. How many? 156? Yeah. Yeah, wow. well, 153. Oh, I was close. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're there to keep him on track, aren't you, John? Oh, just, yeah, somebody's got to keep him in the straight and narrow as much as possible. Did you really laugh at him when he said, look, I reckon people would be interested in this stuff? Uh, a little bit. And then I was, I, moment consideration, and then Dad was like, well, go, to, go on YouTube, have a look. There's lots of videos there. They're getting lots of hits, but they're... they're informative but really boring and not engaging. So I went and had a look, and I was quite pleasantly surprised and so i was like all right let's go and try and f we'll film something and we filmed the first episode which um then we played for my wife and my mum and n none of us could stop laughing and then we went from there <laughs> yeah. so i was i was a star in my own lounge room for a start you, that, that's where it began <laughs> yeah. uh, have you had interest just from australia or from overseas uh no we're probably our biggest following is actually in america we're probably Half of our subscribers, I guess, from America, and the other half, oh no, the 25 from Australia, and then the rest of the world in Europe, and a few people in India, and that sort of So, yeah, probably America is probably our bigger following. What was your biggest episode? The, the, the one that got more than half a million hits. What was that about? Is that the that honey pool one? Yeah, there was a yeah. honey pool one or the honey harvest. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I got a, like a different way to uncap the, the actual bee frames for the honey, and I think that got some interest. and. So yeah, I reckon it's yeah, it's called the honey pour anyway. It's just a special way to get the caps off the frames of bees, frames of honey to get the honey out. Now tell us about your your exploits with the vacuum cleaner. Because... Oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good plan. Just a little bit overkill. I'm working on the next model for the next spring. What what went wrong? Well, I I think my vacuum cleaner was a little bit too strong. 
It worked fine. It was just a bit intense. <laughs> and also, also it came down to what you sucked up, because that was the other thing we um, found early on, was that if you suck up too much honey, it doesn't do them any good. But once we got it figured out, it, quite, it worked quite well, actually, once we worked it out. Right, yeah. but to begin with, was it It was too powerful, so you just ended up with one big gloop, gloopy mess of dead bees and, and honey and honeycomb. Yes. Well, yes. ultimately, yes. <laughs> it, yes. yes. We, did, we, we did save a few, but yeah. The joys oh. of editing, that's one good thing. <laughs> Have you got a good editor in Mark, John? Uh, John. Uh, yeah, John is amazing. He makes he makes me look good. <laughs> All right. Now, you, what do you do when you're not a, a YouTube star? Uh, well, obviously, tend the bees, and I'm an almond grower as well, which is part of the reason why I got into beekeeping, because the almond industry is very dependent on bees. Of course. It? Yeah, so. Of course you need the uh, the, the bees to, to pollinate the, uh, the, the almonds. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're talking to the bush bee man. And, and that's your, your your title now, isn't it? That's, that's the one. That's how people know you, Mark, as the yep. Bush Bee Man. Yes. And um, you've got well over 150 uh, videos and, on YouTube. One of them got more than half a million views. What next? I mean, uh, what are you going to branch into, Mark? I'm thinking merchandising. I'm thinking movies. I'm... Uh, well, we were kicking it. We're, we're actually a merchandise. We have got a Bush Bee Company website where we sell our products on. But actually, as I was saying earlier, with the main following in America, getting stuff posted to America is like insanely expensive. So we're trying to figure out a way to get up there at a bigger, you know, like a, I don't guess, a more commercial amount shipped rather than individually shipping it. Because it's $35 to post something to America, like that weighs a kilo. So it's kind of insane. But what about T-shirts, hats, yeah, board, yeah, we've got uh, board games. Well, we haven't got to the board game yet, but that kind of cool idea. Oh, I love that idea. Uh, face masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Face do, mask do, sounds good. Do you have a show bag at the Renmark Royal Show? Uh, not yet, but we could. That's we a good could. idea. That's not a bad idea. Look, we could I, have you, a bee hat. I want to. I want to actually get a broad brim hat with my name on it. But we've had much controversy about getting that done. Why? Well, oh well. Oh, yeah. the, okay. The tricky thing is you can get a cap really easy, but broad brim hats are something you can't get embroidered very easily. But I think I've, I think we might be onto something. So yeah, it's been a running gag through the show. All right. Now, a lot of YouTubers produce songs. Mm-hmm. Now we, according to our producers, we ha- they have heard audio of you singing. <laughs> C- can you carry a tune, Mark? Uh, poorly, no. But I try when don't, I when I get don't sugarcoat this. You can't sing. Oh, I do. I do sing very badly. But I usually get told off because it's like you can't sing that. It's copyright. Don't say that. It's copyright. So I, I wouldn't think the Bloomin' Beatles would mind if I sung a song that I could, they wouldn't even know it was. Me singing their song. I, I don't think Paul McCartney's going to sue you or uh, come and give us I think a few. We might lines. actually get sued just because it's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! You're not going to sing it. You're going to sing uh, for us. Uh, no, you're, yeah, no, he's right. I can't sing for. Oh, all right. right. No, so, no. I mean, it was a, it was just that. Here comes the sun line when we're out working on the bees, but. Anyway. All right. Now, here's a little more of Mark. If you haven't had the Mark Deco full experience, here's a, here's a little more from one of his videos. Uh, is this when he was trying to get the um, – with the vacuum cleaner? Uh, no? No, th- this is another one of your great exploits. This is Mark Deco. <laughs> on the road again. <laughs> I can't wait to get on the road again. Picking up bees with my son. So, whose place are we heading to? Wild Bill Hickok, the bee man. He smokes cigarettes and talks hardcore. And he's caught these bloody wild swarms for me down here in the city. So I don't know how they're going to go, but they're only 80 bucks instead of 150. So, they might be cool, they might be shit. So, we'll find out. $640 worth of risk. You can buy a lot of honey for $640, honestly. I mean, damn. How much honey would that be? See, I can see why you've got a cult following, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's singing. That's definitely It was definitely amazing. singing. Have you had many stings? Oh, yeah, all the time. But that's all right. The interesting thing with beekeeping, when I first started, an older beekeeper said to me, well, the idea is to get one hive and get a few stings and see whether you get more allergic or less allergic. And I, So luckily I've gone the other way. So I get stung now and it doesn't really bother me too much. I, I can back that up. I used to get stung when we first started filming a lot. Um, just because I seem to be the target of the bees. But, yeah, and then progressively over the last year and a half, I've, I don't really react at all anymore. Unless you get stung in the face. You, you're buggered if you get stung in the face regardless. Yeah. And, and, John, how do you think your dad is handling fame? 
Um, I get him not to read the comments. That's a good start. Um, yeah, no, I think it is. We live in. He lives in Riverland, so that's not. That's a good start. And yeah, I think he's handling it pretty well. He's, he's, he's pretty down. He's as a show shows is an extremely down to earth kind of guy. So, well, Mark, I, I think it's only a matter of time before the movie offer comes in. Um, or certainly you'll have your own show on mainstream TV. That's, can you just remember your friends when you're, a, when you're a big star? Just remember us little people. I will, champ. I'll tell you what, if I ever become a really big star, you can interview me and I won't even charge you. Mark Deco. <laughs> now, you can find him. If you Google the Bush Bee Man, you'll find out what all the fuss is about. He's, he's on YouTube. And is, uh, the other person on the, behind the camera, and you sometimes get to hear his voice, is his son, John Deco. Thank you very much, gentlemen. It is three minutes to ten. And we have been also asking for your, uh, for your perm stories. Now, Ileano is uh, a North Adelaide hairdresser. And, uh, thank you so much. And say thank you to Curtis, and I'll talk to him later. Awesome. Thanks, See ya. Good on you. Bye. Good work. Was right? Yeah, it was good. You got nervous. I've never seen you nervous. All done? Yeah, I think yep. so. Oh. You're a bit nervous then. I never get nervous. <laughs> you never get nervous. <laughs> oh, well, I'm allowed to get a little bit nervous. That's probably too much coffee. <laughs> probably the problem. <laughs> I was just having a thought just then. When the kids were growing up, I always used to go, bum, 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 which is the ABC little tune. Oh, look at me, I'm even on ABC radio in the city no more. Woo, I think I've come of age. Hee <laughs> hee.